Hey, cool cats and kittens. What's up? How's it? Please take your bone elsewhere. What's up? How's it going? How you doing? Welcome to Quarantine Chronicles. Day, who the fuck knows? I just put some laundry in. Today is... That's a really good question. Cause I'm not so sure. I wanna say Tuesday. Yep, that's right, it's Tuesday. What up, beach? I went, oh, somebody gotta go out? I heard the bell, I heard the bell. Somebody gotta go outside? Come on, y'all gotta go out. I heard the bell. I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. Bum, 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 bum. Ain't that? I don't know why that just came into my head. Anyways, no, you can't take that bone outside, Wayne. Dimmy dat, dimmy dat. No, dimmy dat. She trying to take her bone outside. Anyways, what's up? Hi, how are ya? My hair could not possibly look any worse than it does right now, or my face. So please do ignore that. Um, it's fucking Tuesday or something. I don't even know. Like when I vlogged last time, is not linear any longer. <laughs> And I'm super fucking tired. I'm about to make uh, some of that like trendy ass coffee cream stuff. I think I talked about it in another vlog, how I was using my drill. Cause my little mixer, I don't know if I said that in the vlog, but my little mixer thing is broken. So I had gotten another one at the dollar store today. Cause I had to go to the dollar store and get laundry detergent that's completely out. So I went and got me a new mixer so I can make some coffee tweaks because <laughs> Ooh, girl, I need it so bad. Tina, for whatever reason, uh, has been on a kick of waking up at three o'clock and one o'clock in the morning first. She wakes up at one and then she wakes up at three. And I don't know why. I thought it was because I was feeding her too late because she wasn't eating her supper till like seven or eight o'clock. Um, so we're gonna try to change that. And I thought last night I fed her, what time did I feed her? Like six for supper and um, she only got up at one, which was nice. She got up at three and was just like fucking around, fucking around, fucking around. Cause y'all know she sleeps in her bed now. Yeah, girl, I'm about to bring that cage back into the bedroom and deal with that situation. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna make this trendy ass coffee because ooh child, I need it so fucking bad. Ooh child, things to get brighter. Once I have this coffee up in my fucking belly. So, how have y'all been dealing with the Maloma Pyrus, the the Provid? Because you know. We get demonetized when we say it. The one video where I was like, fuck it. I'm pretty sure I already said this, but the one video where I was like, fuck it. They demonetized it, girl. I think I said it um, in my last video and they did not demonetize it, which was very nice. I'm supposed to be like dieting. Dude, I have gained. <laughs> let me think here, let me think. I was down to like 201. Um, I was 223, got down to 201. Um, and now I'm back up to 215, so this whole quarantine thing ain't being good to me, girl. I have been making homemade donuts, and that Aiden had a birthday, and Tim had a birthday, and then, uh, let me think. I'm just a fat bitch that likes to eat, and oh, I just love what this piece of hair is doing for me right now. Love that for me. Just, Okay. You know what? It's it is what it is, girl. Um, what was I talking about? Getting fat, yeah. Uh, so anyway, love that for me. <laughs> love being fat. <laughs> love not fitting my clothes. <laughs> it's great. So um, that's what's been going on. Do y'all have I made this on camera before? I don't know if I haven't. It's like that super trendy ass coffee they make up on the Buzzfeed, and then I think like. Julie and Salomita did it. It's two tablespoons of instant coffee, which I use instant espresso because I'm not a little bitch. And then two tablespoons of sugar, which yeah, that's soup's good for you, right? You know what? 
I wonder if I use Swerve, if that would work. Do you think that would work? Probably not, because it sometimes be getting real bitter. Um, two tablespoons of coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of hot water, beach. I don't think they said hot water in the BuzzFeed video, but I use hot water because it seems to dissolve with coffee faster. Um, I try to take it easy on the sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar is a lot, bitch. This is why I gave 50 pounds to record take. Okay. Uh, I see a lot of people, um, like drinking milk, like putting it on top of milk or something, which seems really odd, I guess, because it's like thick and whippy. You know what the consistency reminds me of? Marshmallow fluff. Have you ever had marshmallow fluff before? That's kind of the consistency of it. Um, and it's like real thick and then people like put it on top of milk and drink it, but like, what's the point? Stop being a little bitch and drink it straight like I do. I, well, you can't really drink it. You kind of have to eat it. So I eat it straight because I'm cool like that or something. All right, let's fucking get this party started. I wish you could just buy, oops, this. You know, this thing. Can you just buy this? Oh shit, my nephew's calling. BRB, BRB. I'm gonna make my coffee tweet and then I'm gonna BRB. Okay, never mind, I fucked up. Sometimes if I don't answer it quick enough, it'll like cut off and then it's too late. Anyways, he'll call me back. So, taking this, taking this, two tablespoons of, it's a coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of hot water, here we go. Beach. And then you whip it up. Whip it up. Oh, whip it up, bitch. Oh, whip it up. I feel like it did it faster when I used my drill. Ooh. Does this sound like it's like going faster or something? Isn't it? There she go. There she go. You'll know when it's done because it'll be like stiff peaks, like egg whites, and it gets less. Can you even hear me? Anyways, you'll know when it's done because it'll get stiff. Stiff peaks, stiff, 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 stiff peaks. Does anybody know what song that's from? Probably not, because nobody watches Two Life Crew anymore. <laughs> They're so bad. Anyways, it's a Two Life Crew song. Stiff, 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 stiff Peter. Okay, we, that's enough of that. All right, this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna eat it, beach, because it's good, okay? I gotta stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. It's really hard, though. I saw this one video where this guy took and like okay so like the canon g7x he like took the screws out of the bottom or something and flipped it so that way your this thing your monitor or whatever it is is under you or is under the camera so it doesn't look as obvious that you're looking at yourself all the time you're filming yourself <laughs> mm. it's so good dude mm. Mm. Marshmallow fluff consistency, faux show. A little more gritty than marshmallow fluff, but goddamn, it's good. Mmm. 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 Fuck. It's so good. Mmm. 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 It's like a fine wine. Can you have my dog working out there? <clears throat> he drives me nuts. Did I tell you guys that I've been making patio furniture during quarantine? I don't fucking know what I vlogged and what I haven't vlogged. Cause here's the belly up straight up truth, bitch. Um, come on dogs! Oh, there's, what are they called? Landscapers over there. Come on dogs! he would be barking at the landscapers all the time. Anyways, what was I saying? What was I saying? I was talking about making patio furniture. What was I gonna say? I was saying this is the straight up belly up truth, but I don't remember what it was. Did I oh, I know what it was. <laughs> straight up belly up truth is, um, I have made a plethora of vlogs during this entire quarantine Paloma virus. Oh fuck, I hope they don't demonetize me for saying that. Paloma virus. 
situation. And the dilly is, I start making a vlog, and then I get to doing shit, and shit happens, and then I don't end the vlog. Which I think I mentioned that in my last one, so what I think I'm gonna do is do like a weekly vlog, and do like a little bit each day. Today I've actually got time. Hmm. Because I don't really have anything going on today. I don't really have anything to do. Like my house is clean. Excuse me. My house is clean. Um, I think what I'm going to do though is probably sand down the separated pieces to my patio furniture. Did I show you guys my patio furniture? I don't think, I don't know if I did or not. Did I? I'll BRB. I'm going to go check that vlog. See if I showed it to you guys, because I'm not gonna turn around and show it to you again if I don't and have did already show you. I feel like I vlogged it. Uh, you know what I think it was? I think I have vlogged it in a vlog <laughs> I meant to upload but never uploaded. Um, because I never like ended the vlog. So let me go on up here and look right here, right here. Yeah, no, that's when I was like venturing out into the world, right? I don't think I ever did show you guys. No, I sure didn't. You know what happened? I'm I'm recalling now. It's all coming back to me now. My last vlog, what happened was, I came on at the end of the vlog and was like, I'm gonna start a new vlog today, which I totally did. Filmed about five or 10 minutes, and then at one point in time, I was getting ready to get back on and I was eating a snack before I got back on and I was eating and then you know my dogs are always like yo give me some too so Hoyt was sitting there I gave him a little chip so I think I was eating pizza chips or something so I gave Hoyt a little chip and I thought wow that's really weird that like Stubby's not coming out here whenever you open a bag <laughs> you fucking pull a pan out you turn the stove on like no matter what, anything that is food involved, Stubby will come rushing in. He is a tweet whore, he loves tweets. Like, he, that's what he eats, shits, thinks, breathes, tweets, okay? And he's probably, maybe he didn't hear me. I was gonna say, he's probably gonna come in here because he heard me say the word tweet. Anyway, um, so I'm giving Hoyt these pizza chips and I thought, wow, that's really weird that Stubby's not coming in here. Um, for tweets like what the hell so and it, it was just a thought that crossed my mind and then I realized okay um it's like four o'clock and Stubby's only one out because okay first of all Stubby y'all Stubby's almost 13 years old he's a boxer the lifespan of a boxer is like eight to ten years so he's fucking ancient which we have been oh so graciously reminded of by our groomer our vet <laughs> every person that knows anything about boxers um, he's ancient. So literally all he does is sleep all day. Like we take him on walks at night and stuff, but, and he gets up every once in a great while and he'll play with Hoyt or Tina or whatever, but he's old as dirt, y'all. He's like 90 some years old, IRL, in people years anyway. So, um, all he does sleep all day, but I thought he hasn't gotten up to go to the bathroom um but like once or twice and then i went over and he was just like really tired and like really lethargic so i made him get up and go to the bathroom and he was just really weird and really off and acting really slow and what really did it for me was tim at this moment in time tim had come home from the store because he went to the store to get something and he brought home dog treats. He brought home begging treats, which I usually don't give them begging treats, but Tim doesn't know. Like, I usually buy him, like, natural treats or whatever um, because I got dog with skin issues. Like, if you give your dog begging treats, no fucking shade or begging strips or whatever, no shade because I know somebody out there is going to be like, I get my dog begging strips. It's, it's cool. I'm happy for you. Good, cool. I'm glad you give your dog begging strips. I just have dogs with skin issues, so I really gotta watch what treats I get to see. Here he is. Um, I really gotta watch what treats I give him. So, um, Tim came home, he had bacon strips, and Stubby wouldn't take it. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, that's really odd of him. So then he just like went on the couch, was laying down. He just was like, so lethargic, and 
we were eating supper and I made these um, like pizza burgers and Aiden had like a piece of sausage left from his pizza burger and I was like, go give it to Stubby. So he went to give it to Stubby and we're all sitting at the table and I'm like, did he take it? Did he? Cause I just thought maybe he's just tired today. Cause there are some days where he's tired and he doesn't feel like getting up. Cause he's old as dirt. Um, so I was like, did he take it? And Aiden's like, well, he acts like he wants to, but he didn't. And I'm thinking, this is a piece of fucking sausage, like prime A tweet for the dogs. You know what I mean? Grade A meat tweet. So I went in there and tried to give it to him and he was just like, like could barely open his mouth. And of course I started freaking out. I started bawling. I'm like, this is it. He's fucking dying. Oh my God, I called the vet and they're like, oh, we can't get him in until 9.30 in the morning. And I'm like, what the fuck? So we get off the phone with the vet. And we were going to take him in at 9.30. And he it just scared us so bad that we're like, oh, my God, he's fucking dying. So then Tim calls the emergency vet. And the emergency vet said, is he eating? And we're like, yeah, just not like consistently like he's eating and she was like I love the emergency vet I wish she had her in practice she's so nice um but she said as long as he's eating and drinking which he was um I think he's okay she said you can bring him in if you want but I think he'll be okay until you know because Tim's like we're taking him to the vet tomorrow morning or whatever and she goes, I think he'll be okay till then. Because usually when it's, cause you know, Tim went through the whole spiel about um, it, we, us basically thinking he was dying. And she said, usually <clears throat> when it comes to that, they don't want to eat, they don't want to drink. They just kind of let go. So she's like, so it's a good thing he's eating and drinking. I think he'll be okay till he goes to the vet. So we're like, okay. So we kept an eye on him all night. Beach, tell me why the next morning he got up and he was fine. <laughs> like, fine girl, just like got up, like I'm ready to go outside, yeah, let's do this. Like, fine. But his ears were like bent down. His ears are always kind of like perky. And his ears were like bent down. And I was like, look at his ears. His ears are like bent down and they look really weird. So I said, I wonder if he has an ear infection and he's really like, like a lot of times when he gets off the couch, he like shakes off and he wasn't doing that. Like every time he got up and he kept going like this to like the right side of his ear. So when we took him to the vet, we told him that, which by the way, he was due for his, they call it a senior panel, um, which is a senior canine, basically they, test their poop, test their urine, test their blood, like test everything when dogs get that old to make sure there's no cancers or anything like that in there. Um, he was due for his senior panel, but panel, <laughs> his senior panel, but we had put it off because of all this shit going on. And I called the vet and they're like, yeah, if we're kind of like holding off on annuals for now, but if there's an emergency or whatever, we'll take them. So, um, we he was due for that so they went ahead and did that and he said he did have ear infection in both ears his right ear was worse gave me some ear drops um he did a senior panel on him everything came back fine he's fine he just had an ear infection like he's like he has protein a lot of protein in his urine which i would usually be concerned about but because there's nothing else in his levels that are like off i'm not concerned about it he does have um what's that called prostate enlarged prostate but he said that's normal for a dog his age they're just like people like men prostates men's prostates enlarge the order they get and so do dogs so especially because he's not fixed so um he said it, it even though it's enlarged it's uniform it's not like usually if it's enlarged and it's like not a perfect circle or you know it's weird or, or some shit it's like off shaped that is like a sign of cancer but he said his is perfectly fine so he fine girl can you believe it is what are you barking at are you barking at your reflection are you barking at your reflection 
Or are you still barking at the people blowing the leaves out? He's like standing there at the door barking. <gasps> but the garage is closed, so there's nothing in there. He's literally like barking at that empty hole in the garage. Anyway, where's my little spatula? Look, I done ate it all out and it's so good. I kind of just want to like take a spatula in there and get the rest of it. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, that's the that on that. Why was I telling you that story? Oh yes, I remember. Because I was gonna vlog that day and I had started vlogging. And then all that shit happened with Stubby and I was like, oh fuck, and just on edge for a couple of days. But he good girl, he good. So, what y'all been doing? I've been making patio furniture. Um, I think I mentioned in my last vlog that I was crazy and like, I wanna make patio furniture. Cause what the fuck else do we have to do, right? So, we've been making it. I'll take you out and show you. I'm not letting him out. What's wrong, little baby dude? Oh, she be tired? You want your bed? She's so fucking cute. Okay, let me just say this real quick. Can I say this? Stay. Um, I feel like my dog is unusually small. Do any of you guys have bulldogs? Okay, she is six months old. Friday, she turned six months old. Come here, little baby. Little beach was running from me. I think she thought I was gonna put her collar on her. She hates her collar. Anyways, check her out, y'all. Look, my hand is still bigger than her head. I feel like she's so <coughs> tiny for six months old. She weighs 26 pounds, which weight-wise, she's like fine. But look how little. Is she little for a six-month-old bulldog? Is she or is it just me being weird because the rest of my dogs are so big, it makes her look small. Do you guys think she looks small? I don't know. I feel like she's so little. Don't you feel like she, maybe she's not, because now that I see her on camera, she looks a lot bigger than what I feel like she looks like or something. But look, look how tiny her head is. My hand is still bigger than her head. I feel like she should be bigger, but she not. So I feel like she's gonna be like a mini bulldog. I'm telling you, I never saw her mom and dad, which I've told you guys before, and I feel like her mom was only 30 pounds and she's 26 pounds. Or no, her mom was 40 pounds, her dad was 45 or 50, one of the two. Um, but she's almost 30 pounds and she's still just a little, little thing. Like, I don't think she's gonna be very tall at all. I think she's gonna be kind of like a little short and fat, which I'm totally fine with. I will fuck with a mini bulldog all day long. You gotta go out that? You're not going out that. Cause he gonna go out and bark at people. Okay, let's go out to the garage. He's gonna sit there and bark at me probably. And I'll show you what we've got done so far and what's we bouts to do. Which by the way, if any of you guys, I don't think I said this in my last video when I talked about it, but if, oh my tongue's brown from that. Um, if any of you guys are interested in making this patio furniture, it is on AnnaWhite.com. And I'm telling you, like her plans are so simplified, anybody can do it. If you've never built anything in your entire life, you could do this. I'm telling you, Beach. I'm telling you, you could do it. Okay, so this is what we have so far. This is the one side. You build this like sectional piece and then you build an entire sofa. So we've got this side build and then I've got that chair, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, might just take it apart and use the pieces to make like a small end table or coffee table, or just put some arms on it and keep it as like an extra chair, I'm not sure yet. So this is what we've got so far. We got the arms and then where's the, the base is right there. So that's like what goes under these little slats here. Um, but look at this piece of wood. I'm gonna use this for the back piece. So I just go get um, construction wood, like two by four framing construction wood, whatever the fuck it's called, two by fours. Um, and I found this piece and I'm like, oh, this is like the coolest fucking piece of wood I've ever seen in my life. Look how fucking cool this looks. It literally reminds me of like Alice in Wonderland. Look how Sue, is that not like the pretty, oh wait girl, it gets better. Just you wait, it gets better girl. It gets better, look at that. 
Look at that. It gets better. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Just look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Look at that. Wouldn't that be so cool as a back piece? Like, this is the back piece for this one, but how cool is that? That is like the coolest fucking piece of wood I've ever seen in my life. I'm just like really into wood right now. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love the look of wood grain and like, I don't know, just wood. Sorry, my washer's getting ready to cut off. That's why it's so loud. Um, I don't know, I've just been like really, really into it. So the last couch that we made, the sectional piece that I just showed you, I put everything together and then I sanded it. This piece, because Tim's helping me with it, and it's kind of like a little cute, like little little project that we got going on together. So I don't really want to do it without him. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do until he gets off of work or until we're able to work on it together is um, sand each piece individually. So that way, once I put it together, it'll like be done. You know what I mean? So I think. That's what I'm finna gonna do today. And then I'm gonna try and find a, um, a, what's it called? Macrame pattern that I really like and make a macrame piece. I really want to get to work on, she must be tired cause she's just sitting at my feet. Look. Are you sleepy tired, Goose? Oh, sleepy tired. This is what she does when she gets tired and then I get her bed and she goes and takes nappies in her bed. Which is perfect timing because now I can um, go out in the garage and then bro won't have to keep an eye on her. It makes such a huge deal about watching her. I'm like, what the fuck else are you doing, dude? You're sitting back in your room, fucking around on the computer and PlayStation like it's gonna kill you to watch your puppy for fucking 20 minutes or an hour or whatever. Anyway. I want to go get her bed, but I want to show you guys. I want to wash this, um, what's this thing called? Uh, little mixer doodle off real quick. Um, cause I'm going to keep it in the box and put it in the cupboard. Um, but I'm going to go get her bed. It's about to cut off cause it cuts off like 23 minutes or something. But I got to show you guys. It's the cutest thing ever. I think I'm going to buy her a skateboard. Okay. Hold on. BRB. Let me wash this off. Go get her bed. And then I'll show you her little, uh, carnival trick. Jesus, I do not belong on the internet. Why you guys let me come on camera looking like dick? What the fuck? What kind of friends are you? Anyways, you wanna see your little party trick? Okay, <clears throat> so let me set it up. This is her bed. Let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what the cute thing ever. Okay, you ready? Don't mind all the fluff on my floor. We just tore up a toy. Here we go. Look. She gets in and loves going for a ride. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Point doesn't like it and tries to chew it. We do this all the time. And then she rides on it. I shut the camera off accidentally. <laughs> but then we pick her up in her bed and put her on the couch and then she takes nappies. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I really want to get her a skateboard and like try to teach her how to skateboard this summer. So I've seen so many bulldogs like on skateboards and it's the cutest thing I've ever in my life. Okay. Now I am gonna go out into the garage, pull my truck out, sand my pieces, get some she done. I gotta put my laundry in the dryer. I know I'm super interesting. This is like, I mean, what do I got to vlog? <coughs> Who he barking at? What time is it? Probably the mailman. Okay. So anyways, I'm gonna hop off here. I'm gonna get my shit done. And then I'll probably just come off and, or come back on and send you guys off. Cause by the time Tim gets home, I think we're gonna start working out in the basement cause we're fucking fat. Like we just, it's gotta stop. You know what I mean? I just, it's gotta stop, girl. It really does. All I've been doing is like working on things and stuff, but I haven't been exercising. And I can tell I've been in extreme pain. Okay, I'm being dramatic. <laughs> but I seriously, like, I've been in a lot of pain just like over the past few weeks. Like, once karate stopped and we weren't working out twice a week and. You know, it got real cold and then this quarantine thing happened and there wasn't really anything to do or anywhere to go. Like, I 
feel like a bag of dicks. My body hurts. I can tell I'm not working out. Like I wake up in pain every day. It has been so bad lately that I've had to take like four or five Tylenol as soon as I wake up because my knees hurt, my legs hurt, like my back hurt, my body just hurts and I don't know why. Like I've been in so much pain lately and I, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's arthritis or if I, there's something fucked up, if I got something fucked up going, but I've been in a lot of pain lately, girl, especially at nighttime, like when I go to sleep, sometimes I have to take like ibuprofen or Tylenol or Aleve or whatever, even before I go to sleep because I, my legs hurt so bad and I don't know why and I don't know what it is. Like my knees are really bad it feels like they're like deteriorating like they're so fucking bad and i'm like what am i going to do when i start working out when i start back working out again i'm not going to be able to do any like squat or anything like that because my knees are like so bad if you follow me on instagram the one day i was like this is what my knees sound. i don't know if it'll do it now let me show you let's see did it do it yeah, did you hear that? Go, listen on this one. Can you hear that little like, that's my fucking knees, bitch. And they hurt real bad. Oh no, my battery's going dead. Well, damn it. But anyways, they hurt like super, super bad. And I think I'm gonna look into having stem cell shot into them or something. Cause I heard that's like a thing and it, is like amazing so i think i'm gonna look into seeing if i can get stem cell shot into them something dude something gotta give because a bitch be in pain all the time and it ain't cool okay so i'm gonna go work on my shit and I, I, i'll be back later oh, my battery's going dead okay i'll see you guys later oh hey it's me i'm back it's Thursday. Remember how I said my battery was dying? Well, I may or may not have forgot to plug it in for two days. <laughs> I, I did. I forgot to do that. You know, I'm having a really hard time figuring out what the fuck to vlog because I'm not doing anything and I don't even know what to talk about because I'm not doing anything worthy of anything to talk about. You know what I mean? I did get fit. Well, I'm almost finished. I got to sand it down with my um, outdoor patio furniture. Uh, I'll show you right now because I got to let the dogs in. Anyways, they don't look like they're ready to come in. It's actually kind of warm outside. Okay, so this is the one I've already showed you, which is like the sectional piece. And then this is the couch. She almost done, girl. Oh my God. All I have to do, <clears throat> hold on, let me show you. All I have to do is fill all the screw holes with wood fill, sand her down, condition her up, and then I think probably this weekend um, we're going to stain everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to need six fucking cushions. Six cushions. And I don't know whether I should get like for the corner, a corner cushion, or just like a regular ass cushion, because corner cushions are expensive. Come on, Dugs. Come on, Teeters. Come on. She just stands there and stares at me and it drives me insane. Come on. Come on. She's just taking her time today. Walking real slow, looking at stuff and smelling things, no? She has this fascination with grass clumps. She eats them, and I don't know why. She's got a grass clump in her mouth right now. Come on. Oh, no, she don't. She must spit it out. <laughs> but she did. Where did it go? Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Where did it go? Did it fall down somewhere? Oh, man. I wonder if Tim threw it away when he cleaned the garage. Not like cleaned it, cleaned it, but like picked stuff up. <gasps> It must have went away. I don't see it on the floor. She found a little cocoon. <laughs> Tina did. And she, I seen her like batting at something on the ground. I was like, what is that? So I went to pick it up as a little baby cocoon. Or no, I put it back outside. That's right. I put it outside by my butterfly house. That's why it's not in there. I totally forgot about that. Wow. <clears throat> I'm so boring. I, I don't really even know 
what to vlog about. You know what I think I am gonna make a video about though? I watched Raw Beauty Christy made this video of all the jobs that she had and I thought that's a really cute idea. <laughs> Cause I've had a lot of jobs. Y'all know I'm up there in the age department and I've had quite a few jobs, quite a few weird random jobs. Um, like one job as a sweeper saleswoman who went to somebody's house who then in turn tried to sell me their bird. It was very odd. So, um, should I do that? I think I might do that. Maybe I'll do that today, but I wanna get that finished. Cause today's Thursday and I wanna get it finished to where we can um, stain it this weekend. Do you wanna see that? Should I do that? And then I also wanna do some sort, I'll be doing a haul like <laughs> who knows when Ulta sends me whatever because I um, am gonna buy a bunch of stuff on Ulta because I got a bunch of, I have like $250 in points and that bitch, I need to fuck a skincare. Y'all know I am like very adamant about the fact that there is no fucking skincare out there that is going to do for you what Botox and feelers do for you. <laughs> so until the world opens up and I can get some motherfucking Botox and fillers, please leave me your skincare suggestions down below. I actually, because they, she wants Hoyt to get up and play with her, that's why she's barking. Um, I actually, because uh, y'all know I work at Ulta and normally we are not able to use our discount online because there's no way for them to like monitor that, but because we can't shop in store anymore and there's no way for us to like get there and like get the stuff and like use our discount or whatever, they started sending us codes to be able to like use our discount. So um, I wanna go on there and replenish myself. Also, if anybody knows of a really good low lather shampoo, I used to use, other than Diva Curl, cause I'm half scared to use that bitch. My hair's thin enough. I don't need some fucking Diva Curl making it fall out even more, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but I used to use the Purology Strength Cure Cleansing Conditioner, I think is what it, the full name is. But they don't carry that anymore. And it like, girl, my hair was like, look, it's so good there for the duration that I was using that. Like even after I bleached it and everything, like it was just looking so nice. So I went back, because I ran out of that, I went back to my hydrate and it's, just using, going from using a low lather shampoo to like a normal lather shampoo, I can absolutely tell a difference. Like I have my, um, what's it called? My Cara, what is it called? Cara, oh fuck, I can't think. Cara Color, that's what it is. My Cara Color Clenditioner, my blonde clenditioner or blonditioner, whatever it's called. Um, which is a cleansing conditioner, but that is like very heavy in my hair because my hair is so thin. I just find it to only, let me think. When I use that, it is when I wear my hair natural, it is amazing. But when I blow dry my hair, it's a little bit too heavy to use that and then put heat on my hair. But that fucking Purology one was like the tits. It was just so nice and it made your hair so healthy and nice. But anyway. If you know of a good low lather, let it be snow in the comments below. Thank you. Um, where was I going with that? Oh yes, before <clears throat> they sent our discount out, um, I thought I need some fucking skincare because I ran out of all my Kiehl shit because I was like using a bunch of Kiehl stuff and my skin was looking A-okay, A1, great. Because I was still doing my peels, still using my Kiehl's, and oh, there's a little cardinal. It's a little cardinal <gasps> and a wet breasted wobbin. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was still using my keels, still doing my peels. My skin was looking a-okay. And then I ran out, not of my peels, but of my keels. And I continued to use my peels because I got a bunch of stuff for Christmas that was like Clinique, this like Clinique Moisture Surge gift set. And then I got what else, some other gift set that had like a moisturizer in it. And I was using that stuff and I used all that shit up too. Um, and then I started mix, still using my peels and which I had done this all the time, mix my peel, my lactic acid peel in with 
it was like snail mucin or whatever this I can't remember the brand but it's like a Korean brand and it's this snail mucin stuff and it does like really help your skin like tone texture stuff like that but as far as the wrinkles go it does absolutely nothing but it does make you know the texture your skin real nice and stuff like that but um I was down to just that just my lactic acid and just that and that's just not enough hydration so I thought I hear all of the people talk about the ordinary and it's cheap and because I don't have my discount right now because it feels weird to buy things without a discount because I'm a cheap ass bitch I went on Ulta and bought a slew of the ordinary I bought let me think one two three four five things I bought the and a lot of these things were like hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I bought the buffet because I had read reviews about that and I had heard other people talk about it and say how good it was and whatever else. Um, I bought this marine hyaluronics or some shit like that, this like water stuff that's supposed to be really hydrating. The hyaluronic acid, I bought that. And I bought, um, oh, what was the other, this like alpha something or another. And then I bought this, HA hyaluronic acid moisturizer and I I've been using it girl I've been using it for probably like two weeks now and for the first week I was like oh hell to the now like my skin was so fucking dry <laughs> Um, I don't know what kind of acids they be using at that buffet, but I could put 65% fucking lactic acid on my skin, girl, and it is not as dry as what this stuff does. I mix a 75% glycolic acid and a 65% lactic acid and put that in my moisturizer or put that on my skin and peel with it, and my skin is not as dry as it was with this buffet. Like, dry to the point where I had, like, crusty face, dry patch crusty face okay and I was using that hyaluronic acid and I was using that okay girl she's like chewing on my feet <laughs> as I'm talking to you trying to ignore the fact that she's chewing on my feet okay Goyle that's enough that's enough okay oh god she's getting so heavy her getting her surgery her fixing surgery she getting spayed oh she just won't baby me i don't know if i want to do it but i'm going to do it because it's for her health here talking <laughs> that's how she talks okay anyways um what was i saying this buffet had my mascara real dry. Oh, and I was using that HA moisturizer and the hyaluronic acid serum on top of it and still skin dry as fuck. So I was like, okay, let's back it the fuck up. So I stopped using the buffet and was just using, cause I got some other acid like cream stuff. I don't remember what it was. Um, so I was like, let's back this the fuck up and use just the moisturizing products, which I did and it's still, my skin was like so fucking dry. I stopped using my peels. I stopped using everything and my skin was so fucking dry. And let me tell you, so for, okay, so the first week I was doing that, my skin got all dry. So then like the second week, I had started using just the hyaluronic acid stuff and my skin was still dry. Um, and it, finally I was like, okay, this isn't gonna work. I had a hydrating mask left leftover from that little clinic set and I had purchased like after Christmas time they had on big big clearance like this origins just little baby masks there was like five masks in there just little baby tubes of masks that I was going to use to because I want to put this stand in my bathroom make it all spa like yes I'm still working on my bathroom don't fucking judge me Veronica stay out my business okay <laughs> anyway um so I got this little mask set and I never use like the clay mask or anything like that because I feel like they dry my skin out or I have dry skin, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. It's relevant. So two days ago, I went and I was like, okay, this is obviously not working for my skin. This ordinary hyaluronic acid, most hydrating fucking thing from Milan you could buy is not hydrating my fucking skin, girl. So I started using the Clinique hydrating mask and the origins hydrating mask only for the past two days and dude my skin is like so much better now <laughs>
like I did just use a facial razor on it and like you know scoff off some of the excess dry skin but what the fuck do you guys use the ordinary like I hear nothing but fantastic things about that brand but the stuff that I tried just fucked my skin up dude it like dried it out completely and even using like the HA shit dried it out completely like what am I doing wrong do I have the wrong products please let a bitch know because I bought all that shit because I, and I only spent $44 on six items. So I was like, fuck yeah, or five items. So I was like, fuck yeah, this is the tits. I could deal with this, I could deal with that. And all the reviews, cause I went on Ulta and read the reviews. A lot of you guys have recommended it to me and I just never did it before because we could never get it in store. We didn't have the ordinary in store. And y'all know this bitch don't like shopping online, but I have been forced into shopping online. <laughs> if I want to, continue my life outside of Amazon orders like I need to shop online and I'm not really digging it I hate shopping online I like instant gratification I like to look at and touch and feel the things I'm buying and I can't do that right now so I'm just gonna have to deal with it right right so um what do you think what am I doing wrong what's going on what the dilly yo like why is this stuff not working on me I don't know I don't know do you guys use it like the reviews like I said were just impeccable and most of you guys who have used it are like oh my god I love it so much use the beach so I did and I just didn't have a good experience what am I doing wrong maybe is it because I use because I know they have a lot of AHA and BHA derived products and maybe it's because I've already used those products for so many years like I mean I put a 65% a lactic acid on my skin so buying something that has like 2% in it isn't going to do anything for me you know what I mean so is that why or like what because <laughs> I need to figure it out real quick. <laughs> you know because all this going on right now so hopefully when the governor opens everything back up and it gets warm enough to kill off the paloma virus then i can finally go get me some bonkongs some feelers something to fix my face because dude my forehead okay it don't look like too bad on camera right now but i'm telling you it's like almost as bad as it was pre-botox and it was pretty fucking bad girl i mean this, I mean, the lines were so thick you could like stick a piece of paper in them and hold them. That's how bad it was. And it's, it's, oh, it's getting there, girl. <laughs> it's getting real close to that now. So, that's my dilemma. Wow. First world problems, huh? <laughs> Look, I cut myself. See? I cut myself shaving. I was trying to, my nose was like so dry and crusty around the edges that I was like trying to take my facial razor in there. Like, come on, get all that dry skin off. And uh, I cut myself, <laughs> which is super cool and professional. Anyway, so that's that on that. Okay, look, I've been giving my dog fresh dried food. This is what we got for Stubby. Remember how I told you we like totally thought Stubby was fucking dying? Um, and the vet told us that he, his weight is low. So I got him some freeze dried food and I put it on top of the food that he eats to make him eat more. It forces him into eating more. So that's a thing. Okay. So, um, that's my day so far. I woke up, kind of cleaned the house a little bit. That's what I do every day. Like I wake up, I pick the house up, literally walk around and pick up everything that Tim and Aiden have left out and not cleaned up after themselves. Um, and then I start working on my projects. That's, that's where I am right now. I don't know what it is about this fucking quarantine. Is it you guys or is it just me? I don't know what it is about this quarantine that like makes me just want to like be a hermit crab like not talk to anybody <laughs> not go anywhere and i don't want to say not talk to anybody as in like the world but well let me think how do i want to say this like i feel like i have nothing to say for once in my life i have like nothing to say because i don't want to talk about the paloma virus maloma pi what would we call it? maloma virus because i don't want to fucking talk about it you know what i mean i see it everywhere i hear it everywhere like 
not only do I see it and hear it everywhere in my own personal life, it's all anyone ever fucking wants to talk about. And then like when you're out at the store and you're like getting groceries, if you do happen to run into like somebody that you know, you gotta stand fucking six feet away from them and have a conversation with them, which is hard when there's a radio going on and there's people everywhere, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. So when you're out and about and you see someone you know and you're like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on in the world today? And y'all talk about it. Like, I'm just tired of talking about it, but it's the only thing there is to talk about. <laughs> it's like so fucked up. I don't know. It's, it, it is what it is, I guess. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna go work on my shit. What is that in my screen? There's something in my screen. Looks like it splashed up from the, I wonder what that is. Oh yeah, I think it's coffee tweets. Um, anyways, yes, I've had a dogma or whatever it's called. What do they call it? Dologma? Dogma? Do, Dologma? I don't know what it's called, the whipped coffee. I'm kind of addicted to it. It's probably why I've gained 15 pounds because I wake up every morning and eat two tablespoons of sugar. <laughs> but don't know why I'm fat. <laughs> okay, I need to go. All right, I'm gonna go work. Oh my God, my hair is just, I just can't with it, y'all. I can't, and I need a new brush. I need a new, uh, cause I got that Revlon like brush thing. I think I told you guys about that for Christmas. Well now it's like cutting out because I don't know if I told you, but my sink half flooded a few months ago and ruined like a thousand dollars worth of skincare devices. It, it It's about to cut off, hold on, BRB, okay. Anyways, it ruined like a thousand dollars worth of skincare devices. It ruined my Clarisonic, it ruined my um, zip device, my little electronic little thing that was like $500. It ruined my PMD, like all this stuff that I used on my skin and I had it in this like little basket and it completely flooded the basket and ruined it all. Cool. So I'm actually thinking about buying a new, well, eh, let me, okay, calm down. Think about what you're thinking. So, it ruined all my skincare stuff and it got my blow dryer a little bit wet. Not wet to the point where it doesn't work anymore, but I feel like maybe wet to the point where when I'm using it, it cuts out and I have to like hold it a certain way. So, I think I'm gonna get a new one before it catches on fire. <laughs> Cause that would not be cool. I'd be like little fires everywhere. Anyway, um, so uh, I need to get that. Wait, what? where was I going with that? A new Revlon thing, and then I need to get my brush as well. Is that what it's I don't remember. You don't know. I got the ADD. I can't remember what I'm talking about. The ADD to the point where, like, it's making me borderline fucking Alzheimer's because I can't remember anything because I got too much shit going on in my head, which I just figured out like a couple weeks ago because I was talking to Tim and I was like, Do you think maybe I forget everything all the time because my ADD real strong? <laughs> And I'm like thinking about other things as A, either I'm being told them, B, reading them online, or C, hearing them in my ears. Do you think that maybe is what it is? Cause I, like you talking to me, but I'm thinking about this. That's why I can't remember, you know what I'm saying? Could be, could be. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it off. Now I'm gonna go. I need a new blow dryer brush too. I think that's where I was going with that. Don't forget to leave me recommendations of the little leather shampoos. Preferably from Malta. <laughs> um, don't forget to leave me recommendations of skincare things that you like. Preferably from Ulta. <laughs> uh, and I think that's it. Hopefully you guys are staying sane during all this quarantine and stuff. Um, let me know if you want to see the video about the jobs too. I just thought it was a really cute idea and like fun thing to talk about. Um, and maybe some other videos that you want to see. I really need to get back to filming again i just i'm gonna be real honest like i have just not felt like it it just is what it is like i just haven't felt like it i don't know what it is about this quarantine that's like completely shifting everything like you'd think now that i'm not running people around all day now that i don't have like a thousand things to do taking people to appointments and grocery and this and that and that i'm just sitting here all day Two hours of my day is like my time slot is taken out. Probably not completely two hours, but maybe like an hour at least, you know, with Aiden's schoolwork and stuff like that because he's not doing the greatest. He is like 
a straight A student, he has 4.0, and now, as of now, I think he's got B's in like three of his classes. He's never had a B in his life. So I'm like, bitch, <laughs> what going on? He's more of like an oral learner, which is just like me. Like, I'm not a read it and learn it. I'm an oral learner. Like, I have to be told. So I'm hoping that there's some way we can figure out an easier way for him to absorb the information. So anyway, I mean not easier, but like a more well fit way to absorb the information. But anyways, and I hope that they don't have to go to school online next year because that starts like his collegiate career. I'm like super serious about grades. Like that starts his collegiate career in ninth grade. That's when colleges start looking at your shit. Some colleges start looking in the fucking eighth grade. You talking about Harvard, Yale and shit like that. But they start looking at your grades in the ninth grade. And the last thing I want is for him to not be able to attain the grades that he is able to because of him being forced into distance learning. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out, girl. It is what it is. Okay. Now I'm going to go. Now I'm going to go do my stuff. So. I am gonna go sand my shit down, super funsies, and then put some wood filler in it. Get it going, get it going. And then I'm gonna condition it and stuff like that and do the do, you know? Maybe I'll start another vlog today. Fuck it, why not? What else have I got to do? I'm feeling a little better lately. It just, I don't know. My headspace has not been the greatest over the past couple of weeks, but now I'm starting to feel a little better, so. Let's do this thing, you and me. Let's do it. Okay, I need to shut the fuck up and go. So, y'all, have yourselves a great day. Have yourselves a great weekend if I don't see you before then, which let's cross our fingers and hope that I do because I like making videos. It's just like getting down to it. Like, when I think about it, like, oh, I got to set my 60 up and then I got to get my charger, plug it in, plug it into the wall, get my tripod out, plug that in, or hook that up, pull it out, ba -ba -da, make myself look like a stupid fucking YouTube human for once. <laughs> and do a video, it sounds horrible. I wish I could just be like, let me just be a regular ass bitch and come over here and not have to like make myself pretty. Let me just do the do. I mean, I do do that, but you know what I'm saying. But then at the same time, I'm like, like I've been following, what's her name? Donnie Davey, is that it? The Euphoria makeup artist. And her stuff's like just so simple, but at the same time, so impactful. And I'm like, why can't I do that? Like, why can't I do that let's just do that you know what i mean okay i'm gonna stop rambling i'm just gonna shut it down shut it down girl you want to ramble you start you another vlog okay i'm gonna go stay safe um don't fucking cough on anyone <laughs> uh don't let anyone cough on you and that's it okay i'm gonna go peace love a chicken grease girl this bitch is out <laughs>